Okay, right, um, I'm back. I know I'm doing the loads in, in, in one day, but I've got a lot to, uh, you know, be real, tell the world, tell the camera, tell myself, you know, um, about, you know, the realness of the industry. And I think that uh, uh, what I've found over the years, over the many years in the um, gospel industry uh, is that it's a, uh, a tough process it's a process where um, you get to meet a lot of people that you love at one stage and then you don't love at another stage it's, I'll be real man you know um, you have some hard times and you do, and uh, myself and ourselves we do things that are not right you know because uh, we make mistakes you know we screw up we do things because of fear we mess about and you know I'm, I'm you know we're not perfect no one's perfect you know um, but one thing that's come to like a couple of issues you know um, is not just about myself but about how other people are affected and I think that uh, no one tells people what it's like in, in our position you know in industry um, what it's really like you know people see the hype people see the events people see uh, the millions of Facebook friends, the tweets, and everyone going, oh, you, you, this, this, that, that, and you ever see the fruit of it, yeah, but they don't know the pain, you know, um, and not just talking about the pain of the event, but the pain that you have, have with different characters and different people. Now, this is no jive by anyone, you know, and I think that, you know, if you feel guilty, um, I don't care anyway, <laughs> I don't have business, you know, you know, this is just me being real, and I think that, you know, some people come into this gospel industry uh, thinking that um, it's uh, Christian people who um, stick to Christian rules, you know, um, in terms of Christian ethics, yeah, and to be honest, you know, um, it doesn't always happen that way, um, you know, you get, um, I think the best, and I think the clever word that came up with in my head, this is the cleverest word I could think of, we've got any words, is misrepresentation, yeah, and you get misrepresented to people um, for different reasons. Um, uh, misunderstanding, um, jealousy, you know, um, straight up hardcore backstabbing, knocking you out so they can take over your position, um, self glory, you know, uh, so many, 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 many different things. And it's frustrating because, you know, uh, myself, you know, it's been frustrating because I've been misrepresented uh, quite a few times, you know, um, a lot of times, to be honest, you know, um, I guess I don't really hear, hear all the detail of myself personally, I don't really try to entertain it, but when you, when you, when you, when you do hear it, it, it kind of hurts, you know, and when I see young cats coming through and they're getting um, hurt and damaged and um, it really affects their Christian walk, um, it's scary, and I'm going to be real with people and say that, you know what, yeah? Um, please don't take it so harshly, you know, I'm going to be real, you know, because it's, it's not very nice, you know, when people misrepresent you, and it's like, you know, there's two sides to every story, you know, and if you, someone admit, someone talks about someone to you, um, always ask the person who they're talking about, speak to the people direct, you know, be real with that person and, and, and talk to them, don't come to a conclusion, because, you know, what I find is that, you know, people have, um, so much to say based upon a part of a truth you know we all talk about you taking one verse out of a, a chapter and totally mis misinterpreting the whole scripture just because you take the little verse out and we don't like it when christians do that so why do we like it when we do that to each other yeah so um yes you can be real and have a giggle about my hairstyle my my lips my nose or yeah you can have a yeah you can giggle about oh gee i whack yeah fair play that's your opinion that's fantastic but when you deal with uh, people's character and really go down deep. I think that's totally uh, personally. I think it's, it's unfair unless you know if you're not prepared to say that to my face or you you uh, are not prepared to sit down with me and talk to me about it or talk to you about the person that you're talking about. It's cool. But I would say my encouragement for anyone who's faced that, who's been misrepresented to other people and very frustrated, going, "Oh, these Christians! I can't believe this God. Why has this happened to me? Get over it. It's going to happen." 
yeah, just get out here and it happens. It happens when you're successful, it happens when you, when you do things good and when you do things good for the Lord, expect these things to be happening, you know, and you know, and all I can do is encourage you to hold down, hold the fight, and yes, you know, the journey is not completed after two seconds, it's actually, you know, after a while, you know, after the years, the truth comes out and people come up to me before and says, you know what, what that person said about you wasn't what I've seen out of your character. So you just let your life shine, yeah? Let's keep on doing what you're doing. Keep focus. Don't worry about everyone else's saying, even if I'm saying it, and I'll say it to your face as well, don't worry about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even though I say, right, that hairstyle will not work, you know what I'm saying? But you know, end of the day still, yeah, and it works, I have to say, mm, okay, cool, it worked. You know? So, end of the day still, yeah, Christ is here to judge us, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, and our journey, so don't let no one, no one hold you back for what God's called for you, even when you've been misrepresented badly. God bless you, and I hope this encourages someone to stay focused. We all have it, just keep it real, yeah? God bless you all. I'm out.